Okay, folks, I thought I would just um, do this real fast. Now, um, what do you do? You boil something over, you clean the burners off, and it won't light. Okay, this is a gas stove. Here, I'll show you. I'll light the, light the rear burner. See how that comes on? I try to lighten the front burner. i turn it off. Well, lo and behold, it's not coming on. So what do you do? I mean, it boiled over. Okay, I'm going to show you. Please excuse my oven. It's an older oven. All right. So, because when you lift the top up, okay, that's what it looks like underneath. You got your burners. You got the igniter in the center. Well, I'll show you that when I I'll turn it on again. Okay. Yeah, a little puppy spark. They both spark at the same time. One over there sparking too. But there's no gas going to those ones. That's where they're not lighting. We got plenty of gas there, but notice, notice on the side there, you can I see real close, you got three little holes, and those feed gas through that tube to that spark. If the gas can't get to those three little holes on the side there, uh, let me get a screwdriver here. Let's see here. I'll just use this. Okay. See the three holes right there? Those three holes right there. Get a side view of it. Okay? If gas can't get out of those three holes there, it's not going to make it to the igniter. See, that's where I got the problem over here. I turn up, turn that rear one off, turn the front back on. I got the igniter. But here we got and those holes are plugged. Alright? So, I'm not a professional. Do this at your own risk. I already loosened up this screw here. Okay, make things a little fast. You just take, slide that thing off, pull it off, and see that stuff boiled over. And you can't see those holes, can you? It's because they're, they're, oh, there we see them, but they're plugged. So we got to unplug those holes. Very simply, use, um, you can use whatever you want. You got a little, uh, uh, little pick. You want to call it that? They're cheap. You know, to go to the dollar store or something. They're cheap. And we'll uh, just unplug those holes. I don't know if you'll see this or not. But I got to put this down. I'm going to unplug those holes. Just push them through. Blow them out by mouth. I'm going to put this back on. And we'll see how it looks. Okay. And not here. Well, maybe I could do this. Uh, try to do this one-handed here. Okay. So we can get some light on the subject here. There's one hole. Shoot. I can't even see it. Kind of small. And um know, my yeah, it's kinda of dirty under here. I had one person clean the top with bleach not too good of an idea because um, clean it out with bleach it gets on the galvanized metal if you have galvanized metal underneath and it creates um, chlorine gas but it's zinc the galvanization has zinc on it Push that through. I'm trying to do this one handed I apologize folks so we get back in here. One other hole. Unplug that hole. Just by pushing it thing in there. Blow it out. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to see those holes or not. There they are. See them? All right, let's see if that works. Okay, I'll take this again. Oops, that just slides over that. Put that in its place. Put that down. And the screw, of course, goes in later. I can put it now, I guess, a little bit. Let's 
my screwdriver. I can't find my screwdriver now. Okay. Now, we're going to come back here. Turn our knob on. Let's see what happens. Uh, there we go. There you got it. So that's what happens. You boil something over, you can't get your burner light. Nice, easy fix. Okay? Oh, uh, and of course, do this at your own risk. I'm not a professional. I just repair things. Okay? Have a great day.